The Private Native Forestry Code of Practice lists the koala as a threatened species. So it's very important to complete a search for koalas at the start of any operation and throughout the operation to protect any koalas present. Koalas occur in a wide range of forest types in New South Wales and use a number of tree species for food and shelter. If a landholder or contractor comes across a koala while undertaking a search or at any other time, it is important to understand how to check if that koala is healthy or needs assistance. The koala hospital has been in operation for almost 50 years and we admit and treat wild koala patients from right across New South Wales. We feel the contractors have a, have a moral obligation to ensure the safety of all koalas on, on the site where they are. And they're a threatened species. We don't want any harm to come to them or of any animal being injured and in pain. Well, the most important thing for, to search for koalas is not just because it's law. It's, you've got to look after koalas and other animals for the future, for our grandkids. There are prescriptions within the New South Wales Private Native Forestry Codes of Practice that ensure koalas and their habitat are protected during harvesting operations. To help private native forestry landholders and contractors meet these requirements, Local Land Services has developed a koala search guide and a koala care response plan. If you see a koala at any time, stop any machinery or operations near the koala. Establish an exclusion zone around the tree to protect that koala. Check your Private Native Forestry Code of Practice for the exclusion zone relevant to your region. If the koala has no visible injuries and is moving normally around and is the size of a small cat or bigger, it does not need assistance. If you're looking at the koala and it has red inflamed looking eyes that are weeping or it has a brown stain on its bottom, it looks in poor condition or maybe it's not moving properly, limping for example, then that animal needs to come in for care. Step one is to call for help immediately. Contact your nearest wildlife group, such as WISE or the Port Macquarie Koala Hospital, or if they're unavailable, go to your nearest veterinary hospital. If you see a koala very low in the tree, curled up in a ball, or even worse, curled up in a ball on the ground, it's highly likely that koala is extremely ill and the koala needs to be picked up gently with a blanket and brought in for immediate veterinary care. When you catch these koalas, whether it's a the really small one or an adult, please don't go showing that, that koala to anybody because it's going to be incredibly frightened. If you are able to, or the local wildlife group has instructed you to, Please catch the koala and take it straight in for immediate care. It needs to go into something like a pet pack or even a big solid cardboard box, as long as there's good adequate ventilation. Put this animal on the back seat and get that koala to its destination as quickly as you possibly can. Operations may only resume once a thorough search has been done and you're satisfied there are no koalas in the area. For more information and assistance, contact your local private native forestry officer at local land services.